Dragon Ball Super Chapter 66 introduces a new move in Goku's arsenal in which he can summon a giant identical clone of himself made out of his ki. He used the new technique to hold giant Moro back and jumped out of his clone to break the crystal on Moro's forehead. Skip forward to Chapter 86 and Goku uses it once again when his back is against the wall, this time using it to grab and throw gas into the air allowing Granola to land the final blow. Now that the technique is confirmed to not just be a one-off, it's only fair we discuss it and try to explain exactly what it is. In its first usage, Goku had just run out of ki and turned back into his base form as Moro grabbed him and rendered him unable to fight. Luckily, Ub was able to send his ki over to Goku with some guidance from the Kais and basically restore all of Goku's energy. Goku absorbs it and immediately summons forth the Ultra Instinct giant version of himself and is able to hold back Moro who had absorbed all of the planet's energy. The move didn't directly hurt Moro at all, and it was just used as a way to allow the physical form of Goku to land the finishing blow. Now fast forward to the fight against Gas, and once again, Goku summons this giant version of himself to basically accomplish the same thing. Make sure the enemy stops moving so someone can land the final blow. Goku in his giant form grabs Gas and launches him into the sky so Granola can land the attack he had been charging up since the beginning of the chapter. We can immediately see that both uses of the technique weren't in an attempt to directly harm the foe Goku and the team were up against. It's only really being used as a way to incapacitate an enemy or keep them from getting away from the fight ending hit. Goku more than likely isn't able to fully control this technique yet and has only used it in last ditch efforts to end a fight quickly, so it's an actual final trump card for him from what we can tell. This is the exact same for True Ultra Instinct. True Ultra Instinct as a form can be used for a while and is a stronger version of Master Ultra Instinct and it allows Goku to use any fighting style he chooses at its max strength at the cost of it sapping his energy. Similar to his giant form, it's not used for very long and is used to end the fight as fast as possible. Although it hasn't been used to throw hands quite yet, I do think at some point he'll be able to use it for a longer duration and for reasons other than just holding a target down later on in the series. What do you guys think? Will Goku keep using this technique and perhaps ever master it? Let us know in the comments below and make sure to like the video and subscribe to DB Hype for more Dragon Ball related content of all types. With that being said, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.